Hello everybody and welcome to my first in a new series called Quick Studies. This is just going to be a quick demonstration of some of the settings in Disco Diffusion. And this first one I will be showing a clip guidance scale demonstration with it set at 2000, 10,000 and 90,000 both with and without a starting image. So thank you for watching. Much more stuff coming very soon. So today I'm going over one that I get asked a lot about, which is the clip guidance scale. So, and it, how it's described in Zippy's Disco Diffusion is right here. It says it is one of the most important parameters you will use. It tells DD how strongly you want clip to move towards your prompt each time step. Higher is generally better, but if CGS is too strong, it will overshoot the goal and distort the image so a happy medium is needed, et cetera, et cetera. To me, the way that it works is basically how it's described in Zippies. It will push the image to do more drastic changes with each step, basically. So like by step 40 with a high clip guidance scale, your image should look more like your prompt than if it was a low guidance scale. That's basically sort of how it works. Because, you know, you might think, well, what else is, is it going to make? It's going to make my prompt. You know, what else is it going to do? Yeah, but what this does is kind of, I guess, push it faster to make more drastic steps to make the prompt. So I'm going to start off here with it just set at 2,000. Okay, and here's our first change at 20. Our next change at 40. And I'm not going to let it run the whole time. I'll just, at the end of this, when it's done, I'll just go ahead and post all the progression images. Okay, and here's our final render at 2000 clip guidance scale. So it can actually also change your end image quite a bit. So this is a real important setting to kind of understand. And I will go ahead now and bump this one up to let's just do uh, 10,000 for this next one. So I'm going to go ahead and keep all the settings the same and just change the clip guidance scale up to 10,000. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and let this run and if you see it really probably doesn't look too much different there than our other one did at 20. But I'll go ahead and come check it in when this is done and then I'll go ahead and post all the progress images. Okay, and our second render here with the clip guidance of 10,000 is winding down. And if you notice right now, I'm getting uh, 1.52 iterations a second. So I don't, I think this is a setting also that doesn't really affect the render time. So feel real free to experiment with this. I really encourage you to experiment a lot with this one anytime you're coming up with a new image because it will kind of drastically change the way your image looks in the end. So I'll go ahead and post all of these. Okay, and this one is wrapping up here now, and this is another thing too that I've noticed that a lot of times if you have a real high clip guidance scale, it can wind up doing things like double horizons. So I have been kind of turning that down lately for landscape photos, but you see here how the trees are going all the way up into the sky. So that's pretty common, and probably if I had my cut and batches up higher, like to two or four, I would have a double horizon here. But you can see it looks a little more kind of like overdone, you know, you kind of see how it's kind of just, it has just kind of a crunchy look to it. Like it, it's just rendered too long. This is kind of the same effect you get and it actually doesn't look as good as the other ones, I think. So this is basically just a demonstration of clip guidance. The way I understand it, the way I use it is this is what it does. It kind of pushes the image quicker to be like the prompt. In other words, it will more drastically change your diffusion with each step. So I'm gonna do one more demonstration here using a starting image to see if that can kind of emphasize this effect as well. Okay, so I've got my starting image loaded up now. Down here it is right here, content new 31. And I, I have a skip steps of 100 and a clip guidance scale of 2000. So it's going to skip the first 100 steps out of 200 and use the starting image for that. And then I've got my clip guidance scale at 2000. So we'll go ahead and do this run. Okay, so there's where our starting image starts out like this. And this is with a clip guidance scale of 2000. Okay, the render is winding up here. And again, this is with a clip guidance scale of 2000. And now we'll go ahead, we'll go ahead and do another one. I'll go ahead and crank that up again to 10,000. We'll just use the same parameters we used as last time. 
Okay, and this is winding up here. And if you see, this did change the image a bit more than the last one did. So what I'm going to do also after this is done, I'm going to go ahead and post the starting image I used to directly. And just so you can see that. So, so this is, so this is one of the, again, this is one of those settings. There's more than one way to skin a cat in Disco Diffusion. So like if you're making a, a video using a starting video and you want it to look more like your video and less like the render, then you can turn the clip guidance scale down and it will kind of change it less just the way that it does here with a starting image. So now we're going to go do our final one here at 90,000. Okay, our final render here is winding down and it didn't change it real drastically, but it definitely did change it more than the other two settings. So I hope this gave you a good idea of what the clip guidance scale does. And I'm gonna do a whole series on these um, with some of the more common settings that people don't really understand just to try to help people get a better understanding of them. And I hope this helps you understand clip guidance scale better. And again, you, you wanna use this in tandem with other things like if, if your image is not looking enough like it, you can either give it more steps or you can turn the clip guidance scale up kind of. But the clip guidance scale, turning it up, it can, it does definitely change your image a lot. So feel free to experiment. And thank you for watching. I have much more tutorials in the works and a lot of good things coming soon. Have a great rest of your day.